Good day everyone, how are you all doing? It's good to be here again and I have a lovely tutorial for you. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to cut and sew a circle skirt with a belt that you can tie. If you're just tuning in for the first time, it's great to have you here. Please do well to subscribe, like and share my videos. And don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you can be the first to get notified whenever I put up a new video. To all my subscribers, you are the best. This is the skirt we'll be making, so let's get started. To get started, I have this lovely Ankara fabric I'll be working with. I have also gone ahead to make an illustration to make it more understandable. Total length of skirt we'll be using is 24 inches from top to bottom of skirt. Band height is 3 inches. So the length of skirt without band is 24 inches minus 3 which will give us 21 inches. Waist circumference is 26 inches plus 1 inch allowance which will give us 27 inches. So to get the radius, the formula is circumference over 2 pi. Our circumference is 27 inches, okay, over 2 times pi, given that pi is 3.14. So that will be 27 over 6.28, which is 4.29. We'll approximate the radius to 4.3, then we'll add our skirt length, which is 21 inches plus 1.5 inches. That will be allowance for the hem and also joining allowance at the top making it a total of 26.8 inches guess what i hated math in school but see me calculating radius now it was very difficult back then but now it seems so easy i hope you guys can relate the length of this fabric is by 45 so we have to cut the skirt twice place your fabric on fold and impute your measurement so i'll be imputing 26.8 inches from the top of the fold to the bottom then i'll mark it still placing your hand on the top at the tip of the fold keep moving little by little marking it till you get to the other edge of the fabric then connect the markings to form a curl using the waist radius of 4.3 measure from the same top of fold moving down and mark your own measurement keep moving like you did for the hem part of the skirt till you get to the other edge then make your curve take your scissors and cut out then we have just one piece of the skirt go ahead and place the cut out piece on top of another folded piece of fabric okay you can see how i've done it I place it on top then you move away from the edge by about one inch to create our zipper allowance at the back okay so measure it and make sure you have one inch allowance you know away from the first piece of fabric you see what i'm doing okay so when you are done making sure that you have one inch and it's going to be on the fold the center fold of the fabric then you cut out you cut out your fabric. Now that we are done cutting, remove the front piece and split the back piece into two. The next thing we are going to do is make the waistband. Take a small piece of fabric and fold it. This side is going to be the top and this will be the bottom. Measure out three and a half inches vertically and mark all through. Three inches is the height of the band plus half inch joining allowance. Connect points, then cut out. Fold your waistband into two and place a quarter of your waist circumference measurement plus one inch allowance. Measure and mark. I have seven and a half inches, so I'll mark it at the top. Go to the bottom and add one eighth of an inch to your measurement and mark. Connect both points to give a slight slant. This slant gives the band better fitting on the waist. Then go ahead and cut out. Fold another piece of fabric for the back waistband, making sure it is slightly longer than the first piece. Place the first piece on top of it and cut it out. Fold into half, split it and place quarter of the waist circumference measurement plus one inch seam my allowance and one inch zipper allowance so my total is eight and a half inches i'll mark it then at the bottom add one eighth of an inch to the measurement i'll connect it and cut out these are the two back pieces and i'm just marking the side with the zipper allowance please mark immediately you split the back pieces 
Go ahead and notch center front. Sorry, that part didn't show. The next thing to do is to place the back pieces over the front piece, right sides facing each other, then pin at the side. Take to your machine and stitch using one inch side seam allowance. This is it. I have joined them at the side seams. It's beginning to take shape. Next, measure out the space for the zipper. I'll be using a small zipper and I'll create 7 inches for the zipper space. Since the zipper will start from the top of the band, which has a height of 3 inches, we need just 4 inches to complete the space for the zipper. So from the top of your skirt, first remove the half inch for joining allowance, then measure 4 inches from that point down and mark. Now from that mark, stitch your fabric all the way using 1 inch allowance. I've gone ahead to attach my visible interfacing on the waistband to make it more firm. This will help to give the waistband a better shape. The next thing to do is to make the belt. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out two pieces of fabric and place on fold like this. Fold again into two. One piece measuring three and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. Then the second measuring three and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. The longer side will be attached to the right side of the band while the shorter side to the left because I want the ropes to form a bow at the left side. Now take both ropes and place on top of each other then make a slant like this. Cut it out. This will give it a pointed look at the end of the ropes. Turn the fabric right sides facing each other then go and stitch to close up the belt. Now that we are done with stitching, snip off at the point. Then go ahead and turn to the right side. This gives it a better point. Now that both band and belt pieces are ready, it's time to couple them together. First notch the midpoint of the front waistband and open up right sides facing up. Take the longer rope and place the fold of the rope on the center line of the band like this. It should be placed on the right side of the lower part of the band away from you. Then pin it. Take the other piece, do the same and pin it. Next, we will be attaching the back waistband, but first we need to flip this over and cut out the excess on both sides so that we can have sharp edges. Flip it back, then take the two back pieces, open up and place it over like this and pin. Do the same for the other side, then take to the machine and stitch using one inch allowance. I'm at the machine to stitch all the pieces together and this is what it looks like. We'll be stitching with one inch allowance. When you are done stitching, you remove your pins. You move to the other side making sure everything is in place then you start stitching. This is what it looks like. All you have to do is to fold it at the center fold of the band. You see how it looks? Next, you'll be attaching it to the skirt. To attach the band, place the skirt on the wrong side, making sure that the front of the skirt is facing up. Take the band and align the notches on both band and skirt together. I'm placing the half side of the band without the belt on the skirt waistline. The front half of the band with the belt should be facing you. Then use your pins to attach all the way around the waist circumference. While pinning, make sure you align all the side seams together to give your skirt a perfect finish. Now that I'm done pinning, I'll just take it to the machine and stitch it round by half an inch. This is what it looks like after stitching, so go ahead and turn your skirt to the right side. Watch what I'm doing now. Fold in the half inch joining allowance, then using the other half of the band, fold in by half an inch at the edge and cover the waistline, then pin it. After that, take it to your machine and stitch, making sure you align all the side seams and also sew carefully under each belt.
the skirt is already looking good so far next i'm going to attach the zipper this is the front and this is the back i've ironed the one inch allowance for the zipper space so as to act as a guide when i'm placing my zip place the zipper right side up then flip it over so that the teeth of the zip is facing the side of the skirt open out the edge of this side of the skirt and place the zipper on the ironed line then making sure the metal on the top sits just at the top of the band then fold over the excess zipper fabric then pin it and continue pinning to the end of the zip do the same for the second side and pin push the remaining zipper into the skirt then turn the skirt out and finish pinning then stitch it up The skirt is finished and it looks so beautiful. You can see I've taken in one inch allowance at the hem. You can see the back, everything looking so neat and nice. Okay. I really, really, really love this skirt. I hope you love it too. Try and make one for yourself or for your family or friends. Okay. All right. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Also click on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified each time I put up a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.